um, number 51, we do have this area uh, between the curve y is equal to x squared. So let's write y is equal to x squared and the curve y uh, y is equal to 4. Now we want to find um, y is equal to b. So that's a straight line that maybe goes uh, maybe goes somewhere here. Uh, maybe that's not really half. So maybe it goes uh, it goes somewhere here such that um, the area between uh, beneath this this y equals b curve and above x squared is half the area beneath the uh, 4, the curve y equals 4, and x squared. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to calculate this this full area initially. Uh, and to calculate this full area, we do need to calculate the boundaries, right? So uh, the, these points of intersection. Now, to find these points of intersection, we're going to set the curves equal to each other. So x squared is equal to 4, and therefore x is equal to plus or minus 2. So we are going to now um, set up our integral. It goes from negative 2 to positive 2 of the upper curve is 4 minus x squared times dx. So when we integrate this, this is 4x uh, minus x cubed uh, over 3, and that is from negative 2 to 2. So when we, um, when we input these boundaries, let's see, this is, uh, this is 8 minus 8 thirds, and then minus minus, so plus eight. Um, let's see, minus minus, yeah, plus eight. And then minus minus minus, so minus eight thirds, which gives us, um, let's see, this gives us 32 thirds. So that is the, uh, that is the whole area. Now we do want to find where this line is going to give us half the area, right? So let's set up this integral. Um, this is, and before we can set up this integral, we do, do need to find these points of intersection. So let's set these curves equal to each other. So x, x squared is equal to b, and thus, thus x is equal to plus or minus square root of square root of b. Okay, and now uh, let's set this. Let's set up this integral. So this is the integral from minus square root of b to positive square root of b of the upper curve. Now is b minus x squared and all this times dx. So this is equal to bx minus x cubed over three from negative root b to positive root b. Uh, so then this becomes, let's see, b times 3 halves, when we're inputting the upper boundary, minus, uh, minus b, let's see, this is 1 half, 1 half to the power of 3 is b to the 3 halves over 3, and now we're evaluating negative root b, so um, minus minus is plus b 3 halves, and then minus 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 is uh, minus b to the 3 halves over 3. And then uh, we're taking all of this and we're setting it equal to 32 over 3 divided by 2 because it's half, right? So we're setting this equal to 32 over 6. Um, and now let's clean this up. This is, let's see... Um, Let's see what this is. If we if we simplify this, this is four thirds. Four thirds b to the three halves is equal to thirty two over six. So b to the three halves is equal to let's see, thirty two over six times three divided by four uh, is equal to four, and therefore b is equal to four to the power of two thirds, uh, which is roughly, let's see, 
which is uh, approximately 2.52. So yeah, a little bit more than half for it to give us half the area.